Hi Libra. All right, happy May or whenever you arrive. So if you're new here, this place is called Opal Oracle. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, so we're gonna jump into it. Um, I feel like you, to Libra likes Taurus season. It's an adjustment time for you, but it's Venus to Venus, so it's pretty soft. <clears throat> could be quite creative, actually. Could do, be doing, do well with your money. Um, and I saw the words, lots of love. Good, good. Okay, so this month we're kind of following a suit. <clears throat> Capricorn initiated a uh, practice, I guess, an awareness. So we're going to follow that. Um, so what we'll be doing this month is we're going to look at the the mythic tarot, which is based off of Greek stories. This is they've done a remake of this deck, but this is like the old, I found the old one many years back, and. Um, it's really light and soft, um, even though it's like a sh kind of a shadow deck, um, black and gold. But it's it's pretty powerful in in the right kind of ways. Um, it's like a gentle power. Uh, it's it's kind of unassuming um, how powerful it actually is uh, until you like really interact with it, and then you're you know. So maybe someone this happens to you this month or. Um, this is you. Yeah, this happens. To, this could happen to you this month. Excuse me. I forgot to put that on. A silent. Oh, it's just letting me know what's up with my bank account. <clears throat> cool. Always good to know what's happening there. All right, so let's see. So we're going to choose one of these, and we're going to read the story, and then we're going to look at... Um, I have this other awesome deck. It's just pure sweet black white deck. This deck is made from um, my friend Alexandra uh, created this, <clears throat> and it's amazing. Um, and then we'll choose some little ones, but we'll look at like you and other people, or inside outside, if you will. Um, and if you stay tuned till the end, uh, I'm going to mention a few um, folks that are part of this circle that I just wanted to share, like, their creative expressions. Um, we already have a list of that. I don't know if you've seen that, um, on the main page. It, there's a section down at the bottom after music, uh, for the soul is, um, a folder that's entitled Formidable Fellows. <laughs> of course, I put something that makes me hard to say, <laughs> stutter, but <clears throat> it's all basically, like, other uh, readers or creative folks, um, that I have found that are a part of this place. Uh, so feel free to check them out because they're awesome. Um, and I actually, one of my magic abilities is I actually f tend to come across people when they're like, when they're budding, um, or they're slightly established, but they're in the stage of, of, of beginning, if you will. And, uh, and then usually after I find them, they grow, which is so cool. Uh, it's nice to like, like you ever gone in a store and it's empty and then it's just you and like the clerk. And then all of a sudden there's like a bunch of people around you. That's what I'm seeing. <clears throat> like the place fills up, you know? So I want you to know that I guess someone's energy is magnetic, um, and positive. Good. All right, let's see your story. Let's. What's your story? Morning glory. Somebody else had this future king energy, or it had to do with the future. Thank you, and the king. Oh, awesome, Libra. The sun. The sun. I think that's Apollo, which Hermes gave Apollo this. Um, what is it? A leer? A liar? L-Y-R-E? Interesting. Some, and someone talked about, because they had this future king card. Maybe it was Leo. The sun card. Yeah, that reading will probably give, like, another layer if you desire to go there. If you want, we just opened right up to it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, this says, this card portrays a classically handsome beautifully proportioned man with golden hair crowned with laurel wreaths laurel leaves and bearing on his head the golden disk of the sun 
He has golden wings and a short robe of dazzling white. In his right hand he holds a bow and a quiver of arrows. In the left hand he cradles a lyre. Framing him are two columns and a portico built of pale green stone. Behind him is a golden green landscape dotted with laurel trees that glow under a hot blue sky. <clears throat> It says, if sorrows and fears were brought to... This, so this is Apollo. It, is, um, it says, if sorrows and fears were brought to Apollo in a song, he would take them away. Music as an expression of the sun god transforms darkness into light and meaning. It says, <clears throat> the laurel reef was used to crown the victors of an athletic and as well as artistic contest. The striving spirit and the crown of victory are both aspects of this card. Good. Um, it also says, Apollo's far-shooting arrows, so there's some Sag in here, or Chiron. Apollo's far-shooting arrows earned him the epithet Apollo Longsight, thus implying that he is an image of the part of us which can see the purpose and, re and reason for experiences long before we have emotionally processed them and left them behind. On an inner level, Apollo the Sun God is an image of the power of consciousness to dispel the darkness. Pardon me. Like Hecate, who under the name of Artemidas was Apollo's twin sister in myth, the god personifies something greater than one's individuals than one individual's capacity to gain knowledge and, and insight. Apollo is an image of the urge towards consciousness which exists in all life, and therefore he is the natural complement and antithesis to Hakate. Though m many long centuries and through the rise and falls of many cultures and civilizations, the thrust towards knowledge and the craving for freedom from the bondage of the dark, unknown nature, has driven humankind towards impressive, although dangerous, heights. Apollo represents the spirit of intellectual striving combined with the vision of the future which encompasses an ideal of perfection. So now that as this represents like the fool's journey as we go along, so we've gone all the way from the fool to the sun, that's 19 places. So I guess I feel like Leo Leo's energy is powerful in here. So I'm seeing first 10th house again. <clears throat> okay. It says, Thus the fool's encounter with Apollo, the sun god, brings him the hope and clarity of daylight after a long night of waiting in the womb of Hakate, right? The moon comes before the sun. It says, Though many trials and losses, through many trials and losses, the fool has maintained his goal and his integrity. says the shadows are the, like the night fears of childhood where we feel small and unimportant in the f face of the vastness of the unknown threatened by gigantic shapes that loom in the darkness apollo is an image of that hope and faith which spring not from one person striving but from all of us a human inheritance of nobility and determination which can restore the faith's the fool's faith in himself, because it is also a faith in the meaningfulness and purpose of the human journey. The card of the sun symbolizes the indomitable spirit 
that has always struggled against superstition, helplessness, ignorance, and bondage to fatalism and despair. It is this spirit which battles with the serpent Python, the embodiment of the negative power of blind instinct and pr primitive fear. Apollo's music also lifts us up out of ourself, for music speaks with a transpersonal voice, crossing cultures and centuries and embodying human tragedy and triumph. Thus Apollo is a great deity, respected by all the gods and even the Mirai, which were once made subject to his will, although only once. <laughs> I don't know who the Mirai is. M-O-I-R-A-I. They seem like shadow ladies. Um, oh, okay. It says, But the sun god can be too ambivalent, for too much light too soon can kill if knowledge is premature and destroys the necessary time and darkness for things to gestate. So this is auguring a time of clarity, optimism, and renewed trust. It's also possible to understand the pattern, to plan for the future, and to move forward. The curses of the night are dispelled, and the fool is now armed with foresight, purpose, and a faith in the striving human spirit. Thus he also uh, en encounters the great masculine principle in life, working through both men and women, which moves forward towards the goal awesome awesome what great energy so as long as you're if you're trying to plant any like little plant seeds then just go easy maybe sing it a song didn't we talk about music last month Hmm. Okay. Let's see what's up with you. Like, you as an individual. I guess that's our um, advice, in a sense. What's happening where you are on the path. It's beautiful you're in the sun energy, Libra. Okay. When there's rain on the window, I'm seeing like a... What's up with other people? Hold on. Or what's outside of you? Thank you. Not yet. Okay. Let's focus on you first, and then we'll go out. In and then out, right? <clears throat> Pardon me. We just did a lot of exhaling with all that reading, right? It's like while we were saying things out, we were taking things in, right? Great. Let me tune in. So this card, uh, to some, is about pleasure. I could see someone appreciating the small things. I'm seeing someone watch rain, like, through a window. <clears throat> uh, maybe the windows need to be cleaned. Um, that'll let more light in, right? If we clean the windows... Um, as this is an adjustment time to you, and, and uh, it's not a negative with Venus, because your ruler and Taurus season, Taurus is, it's benevolent. It's never negative. <coughs> but it's still an adjustment time, so you, you could be a little tired. Or maybe someone feels like a little bit lazy, but I sense that they just need to write. We just came out of the moon, I guess. Now we're now Libra's through the sun, into the sun. Um, so it's like someone just crossed the veil, you know what I mean? Or like went to the other side. Imagination could be highlighted too. Maybe that's why when it feels like, oh, I'm not doing anything, I'm just... Try to 
maybe let your mind wander. Like, where does your imagination go? You know, maybe the raindrops, like, make a beat or something. Like, maybe things are just feeling musically also. Try to see life musically. Let's expand on this a little bit. What, um, what do you see when you look out the windows? Or, like, what's in the windowsill? Oh, King of Coins. Well, that's a steady energy. That means I have a home. I heard I have everything. I heard don't feel guilty for having basics, though. Okay. I heard you'll never have as much as, like, the richest person in the world. So, like, whatever you feel like you want to have, you probably could have it because it's only going to go to some a certain level of, of I heard, what the, what the soul, ace of wands and the moon, like. I heard you can't do yourself wrong by trying. That That's a sentence to somebody. I'm seeing where cardinal energy, maybe some of you are Libra rising. It's like cardinal energy is on the angles. So what are we talking about? That means the whole mechanism right now is um, moving forward. But I see the gears turning like this. But it's not whipping around. It's not stuck and jammed. It's it's just it's just move. This is moving slowly. But if we pull back from it, we realize that 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 gear in and of itself may seem kind of slow, but what it actually is is steady. And if you again we pull back, then there's actually these um, even larger and smaller gears that are moving. Um, so there's more happening in the background than a person realizes. J judgment. Which is, to me, is, I've been seeing, like, ethereal help, or, like, invisible, you know, miraculous kinds of help, where we don't even realize it sometimes. Um, some of you have an earth sign friend that is so important to you. It's like, someone can, um, talk to this person. This is also you, right? Let's go back to that. See what we did there? That's okay. Um. Alright, let's look at. I guess this is, I'm seeing, like, how other people see you right now. So, they see you as steady, as responsible. Um, not only for your body, but your money. Um, people. Oh, they, they see you as strong, um. But I heard who really knows you, like, um, where you show your full weakness. I heard that's important, too. It's like one quarter of the time. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like a person here, like, deals with themselves emotionally, like their own emotional stuff like three quarters of the time by themselves or that's how it's maybe it is happening could be what should be i guess that's up to you um but like one quarter of the time i guess if you ever need it this this person is also here for you i'm seeing it because i'm also seeing this king of coins as somebody else could be somebody with like let me see 
They have pretty strong eyes. Their eyes are like, they're not piercing eyes. It's not, not Scorpio eyes. Um, but they're, they're, there's something distinct about them. Ten of Cups. Oh, if you know any Tauruses, they, they're also sensitive. You know this, that they're sensitive in this month, right? Um, even though everything's fine on the outside, they're sensitive this month. So you could also be helpful. Um, King of Coins and the Ten of Cups. Wow. This is also, this is feeling better at work. If we go back just again into the energy of you, this is feeling pretty solid about work feeling better about money um if you're involved married etc it ended up shifting into showing me just two cups so this is i'd feel like this is this is a good person this is a really good person yeah empress huh oh, okay now we're supposed to move ahead oh there's the fool and the hanged man so that was seven places ago, seven years ago, seven months ago. That also shows me that a person's not stuck. They've learned, they've learned a lot to jump. Okay, let's see, other people. There's two different kinds of people out around you or within your energetic that's connected to your energy. Um, this feels like like a vic it's it's like victimhood kind of or like martyr energy. I suppose that's also their karma, but I heard that that's not relevant to and I just saw like a the sea um what's going on here? There's a lot of wands well you have let, let's let's move past the or go around. Oh, okay, okay. I guess someone could ask you for your help this month. Like people could ask you for your help, but but I'd be I'd be aware of um, what energy you're choosing to connect to because I could see this as kind of energetically draining. Do you see the imagery? How it kind of creates like it's it feels a little bit like a block. Right, but as we move forward, then then it's clear we have this path here, six of wands, right? Nine of wands, six of wands. So there's a few different messages here. Um, well, I heard again, watch, watch who you're going to choose to work with or waste time trying to help because... There's at least one person on the path that needs to help themselves. So it's something you have to say no to this month because I think your tendency would be like, I'd help you. I'll help you. I'll do that. Right. But this is like, no, I got, I have to go to work. I have to do this. I'm already on this path, but good luck. But you're not doing that to everybody. Just again, we need to emphasize because I feel like someone's feeling guilty for not helping or <laughs> like feeling guilty for it's like an ook and them like I'm supposed to. But it's I heard then this person questioning like, wait, what am I where what am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to do? Because the person is supposed to figure it out on their own, if you will, they do figure it out on their own. And so if you're, if you're, if a, 
I can see that someone could be possibly concerned or like thinking about their tribe too or something like that where it's it's you know you say a person again I keep seeing this path is really highlighted to me remember walk down you just keep right you're the fool walking down the path you're in the sun da, 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 da. this person for instance is still probably in devil energy do you know what I mean or like heavy moon, like really stuck in the moon. Um, maybe even, I don't know. It, it they could, it, it, it's somewhere between, um, well, I heard 13 and 15. So maybe there's like arrested development with something. Um, Cause this could be somebody that like cries wolf. Interesting. It's like they're because they're not really tied. They're not. Interesting. Oh, okay. Again, walking down the path. You just you can stop for a second, but don't turn around. That's that was the point of that. There we go. Knave of Cups, which this feels like that. It feels childlike. It feels uh, juvenile, like, uh, and then we have Sun and Five of Cups. So someone wants to help someone like a child. But it's energetically draining. Hierophant. Interesting energy, Libra. Let's expand on this a little bit. What do we have for time? 27, exactly. That might be sufficient, but... See how this is... This is pulling me in, though, and I don't really care for that. Oh. Because <sighs> it, it's as if I want to go into this energy and, um, again, help it or fix it, or it, it, if I, I feel like, again, it's pulling... It's like a magnetic kind of thing but if we go back to Apollo Apollo said to allow things to be right ten of cups king of coins is I'm I'm allowing things to be I don't have any worries I have money I have family I have a home right basics all the base it's all covered it's not about how much of it you have it's the it's the knowing of it right so let's find out why this is pulling our energy or what what can what can we do to ensure that this energy doesn't suck too much of our attention. Okay, knave of swords in the reverse. You have to ignore it. You have to ignore it. I heard someone be like, nope. Maybe they're talking to themselves like nope. You have to focus someone needs to focus on their own path. Five of Cups, that makes someone sad. This could be somebody's mother. Or like family energy. I heard don't don't let anyone project um, their their stuff into into you. Maybe you need to make um, okay, because you know what the thing is. Th there's this drama here, right, or whatever it is. But then if we're tapping back into your energy, it's like two of cups, ace of pentacles, and the lovers card. Like this is this is what's in the six of wands. We have five of cups and the knave of swords with the nine of wands. So whoever this person is in your external world, whether presently or not, because it's still energetically connecting to you. It's like your memory will go there. You can see it in your eye. It's like something. Um, 
Although I feel like it's starting to fade in the background. Like, they're not willing to think about something differently. So focus on that which is good. That may be a way to avoid this. Is It's almost like... It's not avoiding all the things that are challenging in what you have to do. But it's not trying to change someone that won't. Um, that doesn't want to change themselves. If any weird energy has been trying to be sent at you too, because it feels like that, again, it's like nine of coins. So the earth protects you. I guess someone could also be, this is weird, but I could see Ace of Wands that someone could also be like a little bit jealous or like, uh, of someone else's like happiness in their life or like love in their life. Um, but they don't really realize like how much sacrifice had to be done to be able to find that love. I, I think that's what this person's still stuck on is they don't, they don't get that yet. And that's okay. That's okay, Star. Interesting. You also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. Ace of Cups. Someone's wasting a lot of energy on something that's unnecessary. But it's easily avoidable. But it would take a change. Like, because I feel like there's something... I don't know how to explain it. I feel like, again, relations with work are really beautiful. They, they're so... It, it's. I feel like it work is smooth this month. Could even be lucrative. Um, meaning it feels like the effort that's put in like say day to day it's like yeah that was a really you know how was your day it was a really it was a good day it was a good day yeah sun card wheel of fortune yeah it was a great day you know i felt good about today and oh actually you don't have any swords either beyond that knave of swords in reverse so um oh that could be something too your energy this month is water and earth, so that's soft. You know what I mean? Um, think of like clay, right? When these two are mixed together, you can make kind of anything with it, but you need the certain, you need the right amount of one or the other. And in relation to the other people or the external energy that's, I guess, irritating. Ten of Swords, yeah, it, I think it just takes up too much of your mind to try to figure out, again, I heard everybody else's problems. Um, <laughs> so their energy is fire, too much fire. Like, they, they could be dry. But then there's also this positive, there's like negative fire and positive fire, if you will. Because the other fire is has spirit in it. And I heard they'll figure it out. Could also have new clients at work. Um, I just saw a wedding present or like someone bringing something home that had to do with it was like a multiple responsibility. We talked about too, if you're involved, right? Again, dating, married. I really feel like if you haven't found this person yet, this is your person. 
You'd know because it's not doing that thing we were talking about in the middle, too. And I guess that applies, like, personal, professional world, kind of overall. Yeah, King of Wands. He's so... This is such an amazing helper energy. Right, the right kind of fire. The right kind of fire. Oh, someone could propose to or someone gets married. The lovers, the two of cups, ace pentacles, six of wands. Yeah, awesome. And they say yes, too. Son. Yeah. Four of wands. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> nice. Yeah, the proposal is accepted. All right. I love you so much, Libra. I hope this was helpful. Uh, oh, a uh, little last thing before we go. Um, we've already mentioned before, but we do have a, a Libra here, Tessa, and she has her own channel and does beautiful like body help people to be more in their body sweet sweet spirit um so she's one of the folks in the tribe that's rad um and then i found another one uh, another woman too named steph and she is i scry with steph i'll put both their channels um in the list but i'll i'll try to remember to link them below too but just rad people to learn from it's cool to see like what we're all doing right ada wants like it's neat to be able to I don't know, share with the world and maybe what you put out there helps somebody and that's rad, you know, or inspires somebody. Uh feels like family even, you know, it's rad. So anyway, thank you uh everybody for being a part of this place and I hope you have a great month and you like the stories and I'll talk to you next time.